Now, I've mentioned in the program a couple of times already the female politician subjected to a sexist attack. We often hear from this, from about these issues from the left. They reckon Julia Gillard was brought down by sexism, misogyny, etc. But they've often been quiet about attacks against right of centre politicians, right of centre women. Try standing in Pauline Hanson's shoes, for instance. Jeepers, creepers. I mean, I disagree with her on plenty, as you know, but I sometimes wonder where she gets the courage to keep going, keep going in this game in light of the attacks that come her way. Now, Nicole Flint is the latest. She's the member for Boothby in South Australia. She had the kitchen sink thrown at her at the last election, stalked by some bloke. She had to call in the police. She was subjected to vandalism attacks at her electorate office and foul abuse. And the latest, less extreme, but nonetheless sexist attack has come from Adelaide ABC radio host and News Corp newspaper columnist Peter Gers. In the Sunday Mail, he wrote about Flint's electorate pamphlet and made it clear that he disagreed with her politics, noting that the pamphlet had lots about what she'd been up to, but there was no mention of her support for Peter Dutton, Tony Abbott, bank CEOs and climate change sceptics, as if that's all a problem. But then he went on to say she wears pearl earrings and a pearly smile. She favours a vast wardrobe of blazers and coats. Uh, he went on saying she presents herself as a fashion plate. It's the sort of stuff that's only ever directed at women. It avoids the issues. It demeans her as a politician in a sexist way. It's nasty. It sounds like it comes from a dinosaur, but this time it comes from that rarest of beasts, an ABC host with a News, Por News Corp column. Now, Nicole Flint hit back at Gers and previous aggressors with a funny little social media video. When I appeared on the ABC TV program Q&A, former journalist Mike Carlton live tweeted that singer Jimmy Barnes showed great restraint by not leaping from his seat and strangling me. Then yesterday, yesterday Sunday Mail columnist and ABC radio journalist Peter Gers criticised the way I look. He criticised the fact that I wear stiletto heels tight black pants that show my ankles, my pearl earrings, and he criticised my pearly smile. He also criticised me for wearing a range of coloured jackets. So Mr Gers, what I want to know is, what should a woman in politics wear? How about a garbage bag to match your rubbish views? Nicole Flint there, taking out the trash. She joins me now live from Adelaide. Thanks for joining us again, Nicole. Well done on that uh, funny little uh, video, hitting back at Peter Gers. But does it annoy you you have to keep doing this? Chris, it annoys me so much. And especially at the moment, like, quite frankly, this is the least important uh, issue that our nation is facing. What I'm focused on in my local community is making sure that... Uh, people are safe, uh, that they're uh, not going to get sick, you know, that we're protecting lives and that we're protecting livelihoods. Um, it's absolutely heartbreaking what our businesses and especially our small businesses have gone through this year, what they're still going through in Victoria, and yet someone like Peter Gers thinks that uh, the most important thing he can spend his column on a Sunday doing is attacking me for smiling and for wearing pearl earrings and, and how I dress. It's... You know, Chris, honestly, I was under the impression that it's uh, 2020, not the year 1920. Yeah, look, it's so nasty and so obviously sexist, so you've got to call it out, but then, of course, you're worried that that ends up then defining your career, calling out sexism all the time. So they kind of... These, these enemies get, a, get to have a win either way. That's right, Chris, but that said, I think it's really important that as many women as possible speak up when they're faced with this behaviour. We've recently seen Lee Sales uh, provide a range of genuinely disgusting tweets that uh, she's subject to every time she does a major interview with the Prime Minister or with the Treasurer. Um, Annika Smethurst was uh, subject to vile tweets after she went on Insiders lately. Erin Molan, fantastic journalist, wonderful lady. Uh, she's been subjected to this awful behaviour as well. So 
I think the more that we speak about it, I hope the less co common it will become. And I just want to say thank you to you because we've got so many wonderful blokes who are leaping to our defence as well. No, uh, no, no, Pembo no. here in SA um, has helped me out. You interviewed me uh, straight after the election when we talked about the disgusting behaviour I was subjected to. Well, I, I hope that we're going to stamp it out so that we don't have to talk about it anymore at all. Look, you're right to call it out. And, and what bears that out particularly this time is the response you've got. I mention often that it's the conservative women who don't get defended with these attacks. It's often the left that dominate these debates. You've broken through that by speaking up and you've got some cross-party support here. Let's have a look at some of the Twitter responses. We start off here with South Australian Labor Senator Marielle Smith. She said she didn't often agree with Nicole Flint, but she's in 100% agreement on this. There's no place for denigrating commentary on the appearance of women. Judge the policies not the shoes. New South Wales Young Labor chimed in to support Nicole, demanding respect for women. There's a Victorian Federal Labor MP, Peter Murphy. She tweeted in support as well. And from your South Australian colleague, the Green Senator, Sarah Hanson-Young, she says, good on Nicole Flint for calling out sexism in politics. Whatever side they're on, female politicians shouldn't have to put up with sexism in the workplace. Well, spot on. Well done to them for supporting you. And that's what you need, don't you, Nicole? That sort of cross-party uh, calling out of this nonsense. Absolutely, Chris, and I'm really grateful to my wonderful Labor colleagues as well as Liberal colleagues from across the nation who uh, backed me up on this and who have all spoken out as well. Uh, Madeline King, WA Labor Federal Member, Milton Dick from up in Queensland. It's not just the women, it's also been a lot of blokes. Uh, my good mate Ron Ramsey from the Air Peninsula. Um, all sorts of people have been so wonderful in their support. And I honestly think that this is how we'll see uh, this sort of behaviour stamped out eventually. Now, that's all we've got time for, Nicole. Thank you. But that garbage bag, if Julie Bishop can put her red shoes <laughs> in the Museum of Australian Democracy, your garbage bag needs to go there too. <laughs> I hope so. That would be wonderful, Chris. It's safely in uh, my cupboard at my office because it's quite a delicate fabric. And, Chris, you know what? I reckon there are... Probably women in Paris or New York or London who probably pay thousands of dollars for a dress that looks like that. I paid 20 cents. Well done. Thanks for joining us, Nicole. Thank you, Chris.